I've got two balloons here. This one goes up. <laughs> this one oh, goes down. What's going on? What do you think's in that? Um, is it... uh, helium. Helium, it's really light. Try feeding that one. Whoop. Is that quite heavy? For a balloon. For a balloon. Heavier than air? That's a lot heavier than air. <laughs> it is, in fact, you might not have heard of it, a gas called sulphur hexafluoride. And it's very, very dense. It's about five times denser than air. That's why the balloon feels so heavy. Helium is a really light gas and it's much, much less dense than air. So, what do you think is going to happen if I inhale, well, helium and try sulphur hexafluoride? Let's see. <laughs> Now, I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths at the start because it's quite dangerous, so don't do this at home. So, what's happened to my voice? It sounds a bit like that, doesn't it? And do you think that's a bit squeaky? Shall I try it again? And that's my normal voice. So, does it sound squeaky? Yeah. <laughs> the interesting thing is, though, it should be starting to go back down, but it isn't actually a higher voice. I'll show you. It's squeakier, but it's not higher. So I'll take some deep breaths between that. <sighs> okay, and so I'm going to sing a note and tell me if the note sounds like it's changed. So I'll go, la, la, but my voice is still squeaky. <laughs> so what's happening is it's not changing the pitch of my voice, but sound travels seven times faster through helium than it does through air. It doesn't change the notes I'm making, but it does change the way it bounces around inside my mouth, the harmonics, they're called, and that makes a different noise. It accentuates the high bits and not the low bits. So what do you think will happen when I inhale this? And now my voice sounds a bit like that, which is a much deeper, isn't it? <laughs> and I sound a bit like a Bond villain, Dr. Evil. Oh. <laughs> there we go.